Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to another episode of Forgotten Masters, the show that celebrates the unstrung heroes of the guitar. I'm your host, Ian Layton, and uh, I couldn't be happier and over the moon and far away to be representing CFRO 100.1 half on your FM dial, Vancouver's co-op radio, recording live at Exile Guitars on Main Street. And here I am, so surprised to be talking to a semi-iconic Scottish punk by the name of Keith Belland. Right. So happy to have you hey. on the show. I'm ecstatic that you're on the show. I'm actually very surprised that you're on the show. Yeah, me too. Um, you never do interviews. Never. Why? No, because why? people listen to them usually. Why did you? Oh. Yours is different. Yours is unique. In what way? It's shite. No one listens. Mm. What a fantastic opportunity for someone like me who loves and treasures my anonymity. Mm. I mean, look at me. I disappear into the background. Well, I, Just I, like your show disappears into the background. I think you might, well done. I think you might be surprised at how many people are awake at 3 a.m. Like, till 3.15. Right. Yeah. That's it. We window. Yeah, we window. Perfect. A wee I love window. it. Yeah. yeah. I crawled into your wee window. Thank you so much for crawling into my wee window. You're welcome. It's comfortable because it's so fucking anonymous. It suits your purposes, I suppose. Yeah, I don't want anyone to hear me. Now, this is part of your whole ethos, your, your legendary status that you... you I'm just you, a man. You, you spurned fame. You, 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 you didn't want to be famous. And uh, so even though you grew up in Glasgow as a mainstay yeah. of the Glaswegian That's punk right. scene, yeah. not many people know you. No, and I like it that way. Yeah, yeah. I've got like maybe 50 fans. The whole Five I... times the amount you've got. 10 times the amount you've got. The whole idea of growing up in Glasgow and making anything of yourself was mm. anathema. Ridiculous. But That's what I got this black eye. I got this black eye in 1978. Just by being in Glasgow? Just being there, you get a black eye. It's like, welcome to Glasgow, fucking punch! Isn't that the called? The city punches you in the face when you arrive. Oh, when you, as, that's a welcome black eye? That's like, yeah, but yeah. Fantastic, yeah. fantastic. And I don't heal because you get it. I got it in 1978 because, I mean, the only vegetable I've had since 1978 is canned beets, jarred beets, beetroot. Right, right. Uh, everything else was uh, deep fried, uh, fish and chips, yeah. uh, rissles. Well, what, it's a little, why are you saying deep fried fish and chips? What other kind of fish and chips is there? Uh, well, I suppose baked. Baked fish and chips? Mm. Point taken. Yeah, point, point taken. given. Point taken. Point given. Well, point taken. Point given, you fucking cunt. Tell us about playing uh, at yeah. CBGB's and yeah. you invented the guitar tuning of, uh, of actually CBGB. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, I did it like once in 1979, mm. opening for uh, Blondie. Oh. Yeah, a strange uh, painting. But when I was there, it was like, that's, you know, those are letters mm. of music. Yes. CBGB. And I thought like, what if I tuned my guitar to CBGB, did it? I couldn't play guitar for like six months after that because it's impossible. Like the stretch. But they did name the club after your guitar tuning That's after right. that. That's yeah, right. Which yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. Such an homage. It was an homage. Yeah. 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 Um, mm -hmm. Some of the bands you were in. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sepsis you were in for three weeks. Three weeks. And then... The whole band died except for me. Right. Oh, because the band was named after the disease. Yeah, the because disease everybody they all had like blood poisoning, really bad. So it's so I would assume it was like let's get some singles out before we die. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and you got you got two singles out, I believe. Two singles and four albums we recorded in that three weeks. Wow. With sepsis. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. 
So uh, you yeah. had an ambulance standing by and mm -hmm. ready to rush mm -hmm. anybody to... We recorded the last album in an ambulance on the way to the hospital. Oh, is that what that you can sound hear? is? Mimo, 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 mimo. Mimo! 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 Now you've been you you've said many times that the that the Sex Pistols, who most people associate with the birth of uh, oh, punk in the UK, oh my God, the, the afterbirth. Oh, yeah. Why? Why? What? What is it about the Sex Pistols that you? They're believe? like the loud Bay City Rollers. Yeah, what about the Clash and? Uh, oh Jesus Christ! The, but all the hits. X-ray specs. Yeah. Right. So I can see through their fucking thinly, thinly veiled disguise of being a real band. When you signed your first record deal <laughs> with Tartan Records, right. um, the first thing you did was uh, go out and uh, give away as many albums as you could. Is that correct? Yeah. Because you, you signed the deal and then you instantly regretted the deal because yeah, you realized that that deal was going to yeah. make you money. I don't want that. No. No, it goes against the ethos of punk. That's right. And uh, the, the whole politics of punk. And I'm not interested. Right. You've actually went over to people's houses. Uh, yeah, broken wa in. Walked in. Smash! With my fucking elbow. Smash! Right. That's the Glasgow smash. Right. In there, unlock it. Five locks, because it's fucking Glasgow. Break it open. Right, where's my fucking record? They're like, ah, here it is. I'm like... Don't you fucking play this is right. one option. Right. Number two is classic knee smash. Number three is, excuse me, please don't play that. Uh, it, it, it's it's going to hurt me. It just it just feels better if people don't play it. So the polite approach, and then they're a little confused, and I'm like, fuck, don't play it. So you completely traumatized most of Glasgow. There was one exception though. What? Billy Connolly has listened to my album with my blessing. Oh, Billy. Begin. Yes? Billy. Respect. Now, when you spent time in Barlini Prison uh, in Glasgow, uh, you actually managed to tunnel out from behind the toilet, yeah. but realized that uh, once you got out, there was nowhere to record, so you tunneled back in. Yeah. Why? Well, yeah, so I went out to make a record and then I was like, well, this is, the acoustics were really bad. It was like an old castle or something. So I was outside, tunneled under, and I was like, well, this isn't going to work. I was going to build a recording studio out of all the odds and ends I had in my room. So I was like, okay, well, this isn't going to work. So then I actually tunneled back in. So it was actually tricky because I didn't use the same tunnel to oh, go back in. Really? Yeah. Because it was like, well, I need to do a fresh tunnel. Because I'm always about creating new ways of doing things. So I'm not going to retread old grounds. Like the same reason every album is different. I'm not going to go through the same thing. So I dug a fresh new tunnel back in. But then I built a recording studio in a wee hole there. But what I do is for breaks, then I go back outside, take a break, have a smoke, hang out with my mates, tunnel back in, record into that recording studio hole right behind the toilet. How many times did you tunnel back in and out? I think in total I had about how many tunnels? I had like maybe like 155 tunnels. It's a wonder the prison didn't collapse in on itself. Well, it's a, the, the, the West Wing did collapse eventually after I was out, but it just completely collapsed because it was like... Tiny. Killing it, killing an engineer, I believe. Yeah, a sound engineer who'd been waiting for me to come back. He'd been in there for like right. a year and a half. Right. Yeah, well, actually he died early from starvation, but then it just crushed a skeleton when it caved in because of all the tunnels right. I dug in there. Right. Fresh tunnels. Yeah. I did not do the same tunnel twice. No. No. Why is the music pronounced um, Celtic, but the football club is Celtic, and they're the same word? It's 
Good question. One of my favorite songs uh, that uh, it, it, it's it's complete anarchy was um, Gobshite and Marmite. Could you give us a little, a little bit of that? Nice work. Gobshite and Marmite. Do you want a wee taste of it? Aye. Yeah. I mean, yes. Did you just fucking appropriate my... No, 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 no. Um, that was an I. <laughs> I meant I would love that. Okay. Ready? <laughs> It's one fucking chord for 35 minutes. Longest punk song in history. Fantastic. Fantastic. Go shape my mind. There was uh, there was a time when uh, that's nice. When uh, Eric Clapton. Oh, uh, fuck. Slow hand yeah. came to play in... Uh, Do you know why he's a slow it, hand? Because I twisted his hand. He oh. can't play fast anymore. Oh. Yeah. You were in a fight with Eric Clapton? Yeah, I was busking. Sucky Hall Street. Busking, doing my thing. Yeah. Clapton walks by, throws in, like, what, 5p? He's fucking Eric fucking rich, fancy English cunt Clapton. 5p? I'm like, oi! Clapton! It's like, what? Want to shake my hand? Yeah, I'd like to shake your hand. Reaches out, twist. Slow hand. You? Yeah, I slowed him down. I had no idea. Yeah. Why does no one know Five that? Five pence. Mm. Five P. Yeah. You know that. Yeah. You got that in the South, right? Pence. Yeah. Pence. Well, yes. It's Absolutely. your fucking queen that's on the back. <sighs> yeah. Pretty much. You're a queen. Not my queen. Well, no. I mean, really, she's a... <laughs> Your queen. She's... Not my queen. She's everybody's queen. No, she's not. She's not my fucking queen. This has been fun. I've liked this. Yeah. It's been nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's been really fun. If I could ask you to play us out of the show, yeah. um, would you do me a, the incredible honor of playing your hit, uh, Meat and Tatties? Mince and Tatties. Oh. What have I been singing? <laughs> the wrong fucking song. Mm. One, two, three, four! <laughs> Friday night, Friday night, men's and torties, 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 men's and torties,